Hello. Today we're going to show you how to add just one contact or a contact at a time into your system or your CRM. So rather than if you're a new user or you're just setting up your own address to account, first I want to make sure that you know that the plus buttons inside of address to are where it's kind of like, hey, add information here. So just be aware of that. This one here is to add a new contact. So I'm going to add a new contact and I'm going to name the company. Oh, let's just say it's Sony Pictures. Now I'm going to go in and add my contacts first name and last name. Let's just say Rick Harris and then his email address, Rick at Sony.com. Now I'm also going to add his phone number and I'll cover these two things here in just a second. So his phone number is 317-456-7890. Now the, Rick is your contact and this is your contacts email address now if Rick is the only person that I deal with at Sony or if a good example is if, if Rick is a small business or something like that you'll see these drop downs over here by default it will save it under the account which is the company if I wanted to save it under a contact instead of the company I can click save under contact if I wanted to push to both which I'll show you here in just a second save under both I'm gonna hit continue and it'll push it both under the company as well as the contact and you'll see that in the account card here so remember I said push phone number to both the contact so you'll see it here and here as well as both the email addresses to the contact which is the person and then the company or account here so that's great if you're a small business if you're a larger business you may want to just push it only to the contact and then when the account card pulls back up you just go in and add the 1-800 number here and then the info at sony.com there so that is the basic way to first set up a new account or push it in that's step one step two is to update anything in your contact card that you know about this particular person so in here I'm gonna say hey this person is a customers <laughs> That's funny uh, he's a basic customer I may even tag him as an Indiana customer I might type better so I'm tagging him as an Indiana customer. I may put his website in here. Uh, if I have a street, uh, city, and state, I, I do know at least he's, his state is Indiana. Uh, his county or country, I can put that in here. Any notes? Notes to me are non-history tied events. So I would say met, met him at a chamber event. He is a board member something like that his company makes movies you know just a non-history associated note to the account so the Sony Pictures account any sort of description I want to put in here so I'll put in entertainment company uh, so I have an entertainment company description and then of course because I entered it I would be the sales rep now if Chad here at address 2 needs to uh, do anything else with this account I go in and say hey Chad Bob you're the sales rep here and any of this sort of information that I can do now don't forget if I click on this drop down here as well I can say hey uh, I can fill in a salutation I can say he's the president and any other notes or anything like that like I have contact notes here I want notes associated with this person versus notes associated with this account and then also realize that you can add custom fields so on and so forth but just make sure that you fill that out to your best of your ability schedule put in any history schedule any tasks and then move on with your day and move to your next client or prospect so that's how to add a new contact into address 2